Team Pokey Colors family, welcome back to the channel today, guys. I have a very special video. We're gonna be cracking open the brand new Pokemon 151 Ultra Premium Collection box. That's right. But before we get into that, I do want to show you where my Pokemon 151 binder is in terms of the Master Set completion. We're very close, I would say. Uh, there's a few big hitter cards that I still need to pull, but depending on how today's video goes, hopefully we can hit some big hits that we don't already have. So let's take a look at the binder and get right into today's video. Okay, so here's the binder, as you can see, and uh, we're really not missing a whole lot, to be honest. A lot of reverse hollows just from random Pokemon like Ivysaur here and the Charmeleon. So here's the first page, and I did, I did kind of have to make shift something at the end of the binder that you'll see um, just to make sure that the master set would fit within this binder. Um, since I did get a bunch of these, I was able to just cut a page out of one of the other ones I probably wasn't gonna use and just slipped it in the back of this one. I still need to, um, you know, super glue it so it's part of the binder itself. Cause I was gonna use my Vault X all white binder for this set, but then I'm like, you know what? I think it makes sense to have the Pokemon 151 binder to hold the Pokemon 151 set. Um, so yeah, that's what I did. Uh, kind of speeding along here. We'll get to the big hitters at the end. Some of these pages are pretty filled out. Like that one there is complete. Two spots missing there. So it's a lot of just one-off reverse cases that I need and maybe a few EXs that I don't have yet. Like I don't think I have Arbok EX, which would probably go like right there or something. I don't I don't know. Um, we pulled Kangaskhan quite a bit. Jinx only pulled once. Um, need like Reverse Vaporeon, just kind of random stuff, you know. Uh, but the really interesting thing is I have not pulled a um, Omastar, not once, not a Reverse or a Common card of Omastar, which is very weird. I don't say so myself. Um, similar with the common energy sticker. Like we only have the reverse, not the normal, like common version of that card. Uh, so here we go. Here's where the gaps come into play. Missing a lot of the illustration rares, surprisingly. Uh, we got Caterpie and Needle King there. Flip it over. Missing a decent amount of the full arts too. Like that whole page I think is full arts. And maybe this one too, I'm not too sure. Uh, but here's where we start filling out some of the big dogs. There we go. That's a shot right there. I might even just make that the thumbnail. Let's just do that. Bam, right there. Um, and then lastly, this is my makeshift page that I cut out of another binder, but this just has spots for the three gold cards and then the promos. And then we flip it over and it has one of each of the energies, but they're all the old style foil and there's apparently two foils. So I'll have to probably add another page onto the back of this, but there it is, folks. There's the binder. So, I mean, it's all right. It's it's okay. But let's take a look at this bad boy. So this came from Target or a pre-order this back in the summer. And it's huge. I'm sure you guys have seen that. Let me see if I can fit it into frame here. Yeah. Really cool foil pattern on the box. Um, I'm going to try to... Where's my pen? I used to have a pen around here to be able to rip this open. But it's pretty loose on the end. So I'll just pull it from the left side. There we go. I'm super excited to open this today, guys, because um, I was, well, backstory. I was supposed to get this on Saturday. It's currently Wednesday. And then it's like, oh, sorry, it's not coming Saturday. It'll be here Monday. I'm like, okay, that's fine, whatever. I get it. But then it's like, oh, wait, Monday's a, a holiday. No postal service things happen on the Monday. So it's like, okay, it'll be here Tuesday. And then Tuesday rolls around. It's like, psych, you thought it'll be here Wednesday. Um, I don't know whether or not to click. I probably should keep this right. Like I probably should try to keep this nice. This is a nice box. I'm gonna be honest. It's got all the it's got all the Pokemon on it with the little foil. So we're gonna try to keep this nice. So I might use this for storage or something. Might throw my coins and junk in here. And here it is, folks. Wow, those cards are all over the place. So here we have the, in the middle. How do you get this out of here? Okay, that slides out, okay. So these cards look really moved around. Hopefully they're not damaged. So there's the Mew. The Mew is probably one of my favorites. Super cool foil. Let me get it in shot there for you. I'll have to get this, hold on. Just put that down, there we go. So here's the Mew EX. 
promo card with the the rising sun in the background um i don't know if they meant to have more or less emphasis on that sunrise in english or not but there's that then we have the mew 2 which is pretty cool as well looking over the city so there's the mew 2 just kind of like a normal illustration rare foil and then last but not least we have they get this guy out and pull him out from the front this is the golden metal mew card and apparently PSA says, hey, we'll, we'll start grading these again. Uh, this one's got some weird blemish right here in the middle, so it's not going to grade a 10, not going to grade it. Um, scratching even across that, which is great, but we need to pull the actual gold Mew from the normal set, not the metal version. But it is metal, as you can hear. Very cool. Um, so yeah, there's, there's the promos. Um, I don't really know if I need to keep that or not. I guess we'll just slide it back in there. I don't care. There we go. And then we have an abundance of packs, um, coin, deck box, all this other stuff. Playmat, which is pretty pretty cool as well from what I've seen. Um, just got just got Mew on it. I'm gonna leave it rolled up to be honest because I don't need it unrolled, unraveled, uh, rolled, raveled. Um, where is a code card for this thing though? They must put it in the promos. Interesting. Okay, all right, well there there it is in its glory and you got all these ho hollow foil pokemon on here it's a pretty cool box i'm gonna be honest um even though it is a little bit more flimsy than the previous ultra premium collection that had charizard on it it's it's pretty nice and for the amount of packs you get i mean hot dog look at all that 16 packs like sign me up man i'm gonna leave it sleeved i usually like leaving the promo sleeved so without further ado finally let's get into these packs i've seen online that these pull rates for this box our garbage hopefully our luck did not dry out with the last opening of 151 and that we can um essentially pull some nice cards you know what i mean like we're looking for the uh illustration rare pikachu that i have yet to see in person as well as tangela there's you know machoke or machop or machamp one of those guys I don't know, and we're looking for all these kind of reverse foils. So there's a, still a lot of pull potential, even if the packs don't have big hits. Like that reverse, I might need that. I don't know. Let's see what the next pack has. Krabby reverse, wheezing, regular energy. So yeah, I don't know, man. We're just going to rip packs. Have a good time. I essentially ordered this for the promos, so I'm going to be honest. So the packs are a bonus. And that's, that's the fun part about boxes like this that have... You know so much stuff like maybe you even wanted that bought this box for the play mat or you know the deck box like i don't know the packs are i see the packs as a little bit of a bonus to be honest so yeah here we go pack number two no hits thus far reverse charmeleon i think we needed that oh baby there we go erica's imitation uh special illustration rare that is a big hit that we needed it's like a 40 dollars card 30 dollars card off center as could be top to bottom but we're not grading we're mastering the set let's see what we have for the rare slot okay starmie and regular leaf type energy guys look at that we're already hitting cards that we don't have for the binder so that's huge we'll take that um i'm gonna set the poles back here on the right um, actually let's just stack it up mega stack in the middle pulls right there bam there we go um but hopefully you guys have been well and uh i did say last video that i was going to do a psa card giveaway if we pulled the charizard and not only do we pull the charizard but we pulled it from a god pack so uh psa card giveaway to be announced via community tab and uh yeah you don't want to miss it so make sure you hit the subscription subscribe button with notifications turned on so that you don't miss out when we get to that because it's going to be a nice slab it's been a while since i've done a giveaway on here i usually do them about once a month on twitter slash x but it's been a minute so hopefully hopefully the wait has been worth it for you guys um all right let's keep it going let's pull we, we need like squirtle and war turtle uh illustration rare we need some we need some fellas there we go jinx ex and i have that card already it's in the binder we're not gonna sleeve it it's just an ex 
And it's Jinx. Does anybody even have Jinx as their favorite Pokemon? Like, I would be curious to know if anybody... I'm sure somebody somewhere does. I know that there's, like, a poll that they did on, like, the most... Or the least favorite Pokemon of all time that exists. And I, I don't remember who was in it, but it was some weird ones. I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. Cloyster. Oh, there we go. Mr. Mime into Mewtwo and a oil leaf energy. Look at that, guys. Mr. Mime. That's another one I completely forgot about. I really would love to pull the Pikachu because that's another heavy hitter. And honestly, we're at this rate. We might as well just say that this is the final 151 opening on the channel and just buy the rest of the singles for the master set. And then we're done. Then we got to move on to... Uh, what you call it? Paradox something. I don't even know, man. Paradox Rift or something weird like that. Like, that set is going to be interesting. A lot of good, decent cards in there as well. I'm still working on Mastering Paldea and Obsidian Flames in this set now. So we've got a lot of sets to master, folks. And then in addition to that, I'm working on a side project, which I'll tease right now. Um, if you haven't seen the Communities tab, go check that out posted a picture of a bunch of cards on there and uh if you want to see what i'm up to that'll be in a future video so definitely hit the subscribe and uh yo what's up how are we doing thanks thanks for 6k subscribers like that is insane the fact that i even am saying that out loud i know i know my younger self back in 2015 would never have imagined getting past a thousand like that was a big deal and it still is now but like back then, like that was the only goal and we crushed it. And now it's like, all right, what next? Just keep it going. Keep going into infinity, maximum numbers. Obviously, I'd love to be the biggest Pokemon YouTube channel on the platform. Maybe one day, we'll see. <laughs> we have plenty of time though, plenty of time. So not worried about it. Plus we're just having fun. All right, let's see. Pack number, who knows what, I think eight. Voltorb, Dragonair, Seedra, Kabuto, Reverse Clefairy, Reverse Dratini, Flareon Foil, Hollow, and a regular energy. So we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. So we are halfway through. We've pulled one special illustration rare, one illustration rare, and one foil energy plus an EX. I think I think we got one of the better boxes, folks, because I've seen some pretty brutal pulls on the inter internet for this box and some people only pull like a couple EXs and not even a special illustration rare so we're doing well we need some full arts though because we're lacking in that department as well full art Charizard would put the icing on the cake for everything for this set especially like from opening full art Charizard come on arts yo look at that printing error hello the first the, the card before i have it no printing error on sand shrew love to see it little ink blot damage or whatever you call that poor quality control is what you call that golden tentacruel raichu hey there we go foil energy to finish off that pack and honestly, I'm not a I, I don't care about the foil energies too much. Like they were cool at first, but now it's like, all right, I want some special illustration rares or some illustration rares, just anything other than I mean the thing is though, like I don't know if that's what everyone's been talking about lately with this set is like, does Pokemon consider a foil energy a pull? Because if they're substituting special illustration rares and illustration rares for foil energies, and that's kinda like that kind of sucks. Especially considering how often you pull a foil energy compared to anything else. <gasps> oh, oh, yo, this is the uh, special illustration rare Giovanni's Charisma. Beautiful artwork. I'm so glad to have pulled it and not had to buy it. So much detail in the background. Like, there's a literal window with a cityscape. In the background, you have your Pokeball collection, a Master Ball there, Persian. I mean, come on. Is I mean, I'm going to say it right now. All right, ditto and regular energy. Okay. I'm going to say this right now, and I might need to make a whole separate video about this topic because it needs to be said. I don't think people appreciate this generation well enough. I think they're always, I feel like the majority of people are like, ah, 
this card's not like this card here is not worth a hundred dollars even though it's alternate art quality like it should be uh, i can't invest in anything like i think this set was made super like not this set but like this whole generation with scarlet and violet i think everything was made super super well and beautiful like especially with special illustration rares illustration rares full arts are okay they're all right but everything else even the EXs, the Terraform EXs, like those are sweet. I think they did that on purpose because they saw, okay, everybody's worried about the money and investing and this and that and catching a fat bag, you know? I think Pokemon's like, all right, let's make a super cool hollow packed era so that we can let people enjoy the cards and not have to cough up an arm and a leg to get them. I think that's what they did. I mean, why else would you have such beautiful cards that are going for five, six, seven dollars right now? Like, I don't know. You tell me. Leave a comment. Let me know if you want to see me rant and yap about that. Reverse Raichu. Hey, Golem EX. Do I have Golem? Do we have Golem? I don't know. We'll sleeve him. I don't know, man. I guess, you know what? We'll sleeve Jinx too while we're at it. There we go. I need, uh, I need some more sleeves. Ugh. Honestly, I'm thoroughly impressed with our pulls. I think I just have the best luck of all time when it comes to pulling cards from packs outside of like alternate art chase cards like Giratina and Lugia. There we go. New pack of. Yeah, OK, new pack of sleeves on the side. Yes, sir. All right. Four packs left. Are we going to pull Charizard God pack? Another God Pack would be insane. At this point, I would think it would be rigged in my favor. All right, there's a code. Let's see what we got in this pack. We're still looking for some special illustration rares like the Pikachu. That is a very nice card to have. I want to hit that in this box, hopefully. Whoops. Uh, Tense Cruel, Reverse Venomoth, Pidgeotto Reverse, and a Dragonite Foil, and a Water. Foil energy. Only a matter of time before we got another water foil or another, sorry, energy foil. I said water foil. I'm thinking about water. I'm thirsty. Three packs to go. Poles have been beautiful. Can't complain. Probably the best product I've opened from the set. Pull rate wise, I would like to see a little bit more bang for the buck. But given that you get the promos and I've seen that the pull rates for this box are pretty garbage, uh, quality control seems to be a problem here as well. Um, I'm, I'm not complaining. We have pulled two special illustration rares, two of which also that I need for the binder, and they're not duplicates, so that's even better. Let's see, Squirtle Reverse, Clefable Reverse, Mr. Mime, and regular energy. Not foil energy, I should say. All right, second to last pack. If you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe, hit the like. What are you doing? If you made it this far in the video, you obviously like something you see, right? Or maybe you skipped ahead. Even if you skipped ahead, you still made it here somehow. I don't even, it doesn't even matter. Hit the subscribe. Make sure you turn on notifications. Check out the community tab. I've been posting a little bit more there. A little bit behind the scenes type photos and stuff of what's going on. What is going on here? This is another print quality issue. Look at that. That is like ink smear on that card. Chansey. Regular fire. All right. Bless this pack, guys. Last pack magic. Will we hit anything? Even if it's a foil energy, I don't really care. I would like to hit something else in this pack. I don't care what it is. Full art, we haven't seen any of those in this opening yet. Yet is the key word. But I'm happy. I can't complain. I really can't. Pikachu, far-fetched. Ammonite, we need the, the second evolution of that guy. Why almost star? I don't even I don't even think I've seen him yet. Dugong, here we go. Not a god pack. Could have a reverse or a illustration rare in this slot. That's fine. Need arena reverse. Finishing it off with. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Guys, what the heck? <laughs> Last pack of magic. Thank you guys. You blessed the video. You blessed the pack. You manifested it for me. Wow, what am I talking about? I literally say it and it happens. This is two videos in a row where I've spoken something into existence. 
And a regular energy. Okay. All right. All right. Oh my gosh. What the heck, man? Centering's horrid, but it's a full art Charizard and we'll take it because now we don't have to buy it for the master set. What the heck, man? That is wild. Let's take a little look at the recap here. So obviously we got the Erica's uh, invitation, Mr. Mime special illustration, a couple full energies thrown in there. This beautiful card, Giovanni's Charisma, Golem EX and Jinx EX. Honestly, stacked box. W box, stacked box in the chat. Not even to include these bad boys as promos. Like, oh my gosh, man. And then obviously the the metal card but there you have it folks there's the upc opening video uh sorry it took a couple days extra than what it was supposed to come out but regardless it's here time for me to fill out some binder slots and uh make sure you subscribe leave a like if you did enjoy this video turn on notification bell so you don't miss any other future videos because obviously i've been pulling bangers lately if it's an opening and i uh, have a few more openings scheduled coming up slash in the works so definitely hit the subscribe and come back later when those videos come out. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every single one of you and we will see you in the next video. Have a great day. Peace.